YouTube, it is Andy, and we are back with another current household, which I missed last month, I know. And we are in the same house, yet yeah, this is like my, uh, Graceland's forever home. Um, but it's changed a lot, and a lot's happened, because I've missed on some, even maybe some what you've seen. If you follow um, the Tumblr on the Montez family, um, you haven't even seen it all. So you might see some spoilers, I haven't finish posting it all but a lot has happened since the September definitely since the September update because like I was just playing like crazy you know when I couldn't record and all this stuff and I was just playing and yeah I'm going to try to get everything I got text um I'm going to try to get everything and tell everything that happened so as you can see our family has changed quite a bit the mountain um the family had you know moved out and all this stuff so there has been quite a bit of time has passed um graceland is now an elder like i have been playing with her since city living she was my city living oh look i love that um uh, uh liberty and uh Ray, but Graceland, I've been fall I've been playing with her since City Living. You know, I was playing on long for the longest time. I finally went to normal. I was like, okay, I want to see progression, all this stuff. But yeah, I played. I've so I've really played her life. She got to the top of her career. She finally retired, and she got remarried to Zachary, and he's in the business career. And her youngest two babies are now teenagers. Here is Cecilia little crazy cecilia um she is everything she loves everything about sports and just being active like she has the bodybuilder aspiration she's just always wanting to jog that's why her little dog axel is in a hoodie she loves to go jogging with him and all this stuff amy here she's a little miss fashionista but also she wants to run a vet she's all about the animals and you know here they actually have their own rooms now. This is Amy's room. She took over Rose and, well, they were shared. Amy and Cece were sharing this room. And then whenever everybody grew up, then she took over this little room. What a trick. I took, you know, this, this lighting. I was like, oh, you can size down the little stick. You know, there's an extra stick with these lighting from toddler stuff. And it could look like the little pool leaf of the curtains. But, yeah, I, I like, removed a lot of my CC stuff, so I'd kind of add it. So, there's not that much clutter, but, yeah, she put in her vanity in here and all this stuff. She has her own little bathroom. And Ray's like, I'll just take this one. She's like, I don't need that big of a room. Like, I don't need a double bed. And she might go and put one in now. Like, she's seeing this one and how it worked, how um, Reed had it. Um, with the double bed up against the wall, she might do something like that. She's now she can't, but she just she likes a bed. She's like, I don't really spend much time in my room, you know. She's just all about sports and all that stuff. We have a guest room and we have Liberty's room, and there's another little grandbaby. So this room, it some of it just still stayed the same as Liberty, but she took some stuff with her. Um, and uh, yeah, but. She no longer, so, um, shortly after, hold on, but, I, okay, I'm kind of, like I said, there's a lot going on, but yeah, I, I'm obsessed with Amy's room, um, uh, you know, there's not much clutter, but, oh yeah, this, um, so Yogi here, he's a chow, chow, chow lab mix, he's Amy's, she just loves him, she loves him, Axel is, um, Cece's dog, and then, uh, Peaches right here, she is, uh, Graceland's dog. She loves Peaches. And then we just had Honey, who is Axel and Peaches' little baby. There's Honey. And, uh, looks just like, or, or is it, yo, oh, I can't remember. And I don't have the thing to see their, um... I don't have the controllable pets mod to see the tree. Okay, see, now that's where that's handy. Um, wait, maybe MC Command Center will tell me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, see, uh, Amy, oh, yeah, they're going to age up in two days. So, her empathy is all the way up, responsibility, manners, um, 
felt the emotional call needs some work. But she's got responsibility. Manners is almost there. So. Um. Let's see if I. Hold on. No, not that. Um. Let's see if I can find out. No. MC Command Center. There we go. MC Command. Maybe it was Yogi. I think it was Yogi. It was Yogi and Peaches. Um, yeah, it was Yogi and Peaches, because you could tell me. I'm, I'm so out of it. Yeah, she still has a pod, but, um... Yeah, the house hasn't really changed much. You know, some of the toddlers have gone. There's still, like, a toddler high chair. And she still has, like, the ball pit and a slide. And, um, there's still that stuff in the hot tub, of course. Um, uh, but yeah, she just had a private little wedding out here. Had a little arch and all that stuff. I know this, this play, this, uh, current household is all over the place. Um, I might just let them play. Oh, no, actually, I'll go to the family tree. So... The other family members. So, Ray and Reed, they graduated from high school. And they were living here. They started their careers. They were getting up money and all this stuff. And they just kind of wanted their own space, you know. It was kind of tight. And um, they decided, actually, because um, Ray was going to move in with Dachi, Car, and Liberty. And, you know, just kind of at least co-parent together. Or maybe try to make it work in his little apartment. She just wasn't sure how he'd work and all this stuff. So, Ray and Reed moved into an apartment in the fashion district. And um, they put their money together and they did that. You know, and um, he was like, you know, I'll help you no matter what. Like, she's, uh, Liberty is my niece. And so he did that. And lo and behold, a couple months ago, thanks to MC Command Center, we got married to. I'm just gonna show y'all. Summer holiday. You know. <gasps> okay, this I did not know. Oh my god! My son had a baby! I didn't know that! I have another grandbaby! Oh my god, guys. Y'all see my reaction? I didn't know this! I didn't know this! Okay. Thank you, Summer. She's almost an elder, too. He's, she's, like, a little bit younger. So, um, she's quite a bit older than Reed. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love that name, too. Ashley. Oh. Ashley Foreman. Oh, my God. My son had a baby. My son had a baby. Okay. Well, there's, <laughs> there's that. So, he got married and he moved out. He moved to Willow Creek with her and, um, Liberty Lee, who, she has a kid, she's a single mom, they're kind of, you know, helping each other now, see, you know, their kids can grow up and all this stuff, so, it was just Ray and Liberty, and, uh, you know, it was a lot bigger apartment, so she's like, let's try to make this work, and she asked Dachi to move in, he was staying in Reed's place, you know, even if they were going to try to work, because it was like, they were kind of on the fence, they were kind of working out, but she wasn't sure, and, you know, they had Liberty's party. She was becoming 10 years. It was her 10th birthday party. And, um, you know, of course, you know, she has her aunt, uh, Adrian there, uh, Graceland's sister. Lo and behold, Dachi had a relationship with him. <laughs> Once again, thanks to him, seek me and sooner. Yeah, so, um, she has, he had relationships. They find out they didn't, she's like, Wait, this is, you know, and blah. she's like, so, okay, let's, and let's recap here. Dachi first was Rose's friend, and Rose had a crush on him. He gets very pregnant, and there's all this drama. And then, her aunt. <sighs> well, lo and behold, a couple months later, um... Oh, I mean, Adrian is pregnant with Giannis, who is Dachi's child. Yes, 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 yes. He has a son now with Adrian, I mean, a child, a daughter with Adrian, 
and Bray. So she kicked him out. She said, I, I, I'm just, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, he moved, he moved back to his apartment and, um, you know, Liberty, which she had her little kitty. Um, sorry. I'm, oh, okay. I'm showing all these like secrets. Um, oh no. Okay. I'm showing like all these secrets. Oh God. Okay. What? Well, that's fine. Um, hold on just a second. Um, so anyways, they, you know, she was trying to make, well, oh, let me, let me take it back. So, at this time of Liberty's party, they were going to try to make it work. She was like, you know, maybe something's there, you know, she was kind of still, she still had feelings for him. But at this point, she found out, she's like, oh, no, but he's here for it. Um, so, okay. As we kept, so at the party, she thought she was just like, okay. And so, like, she was just, these feelings were always still there. You know, she was just asking to be friends. Like, it was just, she needed a break. That's all it was. They had took a break before. And she's like, the feelings are still there. He lives with us. He's really good with Liberty and all this stuff. And so, she's like, okay, let's do it. And then she found out about Adrian. She's like, everything ever was to be of us, lost. It's gone. Whatever. You're here for liberty. Your liberty's dead. I can't take that away from you. But whatever. Well, he and he had just got a puppy. So liberty had a little kitty. Oh, I was talking about that. Liberty had a little kitty. She, whenever she was at this house, she had been begging, and she would even ask her grandma. She would ask Grace, and she goes, you know, yes, I can suggest and all this stuff, but you had to ask your mom. And she, that was one thing. She was like, you know, you know, if they move out, if they do whatever, you know. I don't want to put Liberty, in, I mean, put Ray, charges this cat, if she doesn't want to. And she ended up getting her little kitty. And, you know, she thought, she's like, you know, okay, if you, you know, she was still a toddler. She's like, if you be good and you help listen to grandma while I'm, mom is at school, mama is at work, and all this stuff. And so she ended up getting her kitty, and they were like, they're like best as best friends. So she had this cat, even when they were in the apartment and all this stuff. Well, Dachi got a puppy. So he ends up, he's moving out. He's like, I'm just going to go back to my apartment, sell it for rent, and blah, 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 blah. And, like, it's not working. It's all awkward and all this stuff. And he's like, I don't think the dog will really get attention from me. And, like, Liberty is just, like, such a animal person, no matter what. Like, she loves animals. So he left the dog to her. He, he left the dog. He's like. So, he let, so they had a little puppy. So, now she has a puppy, a kitty, in this apartment. And, well, her, one of her best friends, Rebecca Landgrab. Actually, her closest best friends. Yeah, my children, friends, was a Landgrab. Um, so I thought, uh, she was going to try to get with Reed, but no. Um... She ends up moving in, so now she has, you know, her third roommate. She takes over that room. And, um, because she had just turned 18, and she hadn't, well, like, she hadn't got the rights to her parents' house. She was going to get them, not, uh, Malcolm. Definitely not Johnny. He changed the name out. He was disowned. Johnny's ass, if you know. But, um, Malcolm wasn't. He was all, he settled, family and all this stuff, but... So, Rebecca was staying there for a couple months. She started up work and all this stuff. She was going to help um, Ray out. And she inherited the house. And she was like, you know, y'all can stay here. Like, it's a huge house. You have your own space. You know, room for the dogs and cat and all this stuff. And she's like, no, you know, it's okay. Like, I, my, uh, Rose has been talking about Brindleton Bay and how pretty it is and all the, you know. You know, how pretty, how pretty Burlington Bay is, all this stuff. And she found this, like, starter house. So. Hold on. She was like, you know. You know, so, like, this was a few months ago, but I know I'm, like, speeding this up. But she, um. So, 
Rebecca went there because she's like, she didn't want to just go to anyone. This house that was her parents. She grew up in and all this stuff when she was born in. Um, because they passed away when she was younger. So, she is going to go there. And, um, Ray was going to Brindleton Bay, which actually also, Uncle Leo lives there with his wife and son. Um, and so... That's that. And now her and Liberty live together in Bernilton Bay with the dog and the cat. And are thriving and doing good. She's in an entertainment, entertaining, entertainment career. And um, thriving and following her music um, dream. This is little Liberty right here. She is doing so good. She is in elementary school. She's the cutest, precious little baby. And she's doing really good. Oh, yeah. Um... June and Pace's son, uh, um, Josiah are not, is now a teenager, they're half brother. There's June and Pace, they're as strong as ever. Um, now Rose, my sweet, 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 sweet dear Rose. Her and Max have been trying for years and years and years, like since they got married, because you know they got married um, quite a bit of, a while ago, and they were in the apartment and they were even trying. It was just Rose's biggest dream. She wanted to be a mom. So she was trying and trying and trying for a baby and it just, it was very, very difficult. And she moved to Burnleton Bay, they found a house and actually her best friend was right across the street. So it's cool. They're like always, they've always been super duper close, always lived super duper duper close. And you know, her friend has all these kitties and, and all this stuff. She's like, those are my fur babies. And Max and Rose have a bunch of dogs. Well, a couple months ago, Rose was pregnant with a little girl, Christy. And, um, one night she called Graceland, very distraught and upset. She, um, was bleeding. And Max said, Max was rushing over to a hospital and she lost the baby. Um,. <laughs> Thanks, MC Command Center had to, you know, because she was happy pregnant. She was like in second or third trimester. And one day I went to go check on her, see if she had a baby, because she had no bump. There was no baby, no sign of no baby. So, yeah, she was going to have a little girl. She had the nursery set up and all this. And you're thinking, well, what's that baby right there? Well, uh, Rose gave up all hope. She said, I guess it's not in my cards. You know, I came from a big family. I thought I was going to keep that up and have my own little family. And I guess it's not in my cards. So she had given up hope. She was just, she was beside herself. She had mom come over. She was just, she was very down, down in the dumps. I mean, as, as anyone would, like, it was, oh, it was heartbreaking. Like, I could not. I know this may be boring. I'm just, like, talking and talking and talking. It's just there's so much. But she was just, she was so down in the dumps. And even Max was just kind of giving up. He thought he was going to be a dad. And he was literally looking forward to being a dad. Here, hold on. Let me fix my filter real quick. Ah, hold on. Okay. So, he was really looking forward to it. Well, and it was making confusing. Like, well, they just walked into this random place. Well, they were meeting their friends down at the docks at this lounge bar place in Brindleton Bay, but it was when they first moved there, so they weren't sure of the area and all this stuff, and they got turned around, and they were walking in this building, like, you know, where is this place at? Turns out, they had walked into an orphanage, and, um, and they are talking to this lady, this little, like, one and a half, two-year-old was tugging on Rose's leg, and asking if she could play. And that, that little girl was right here, Josie. And they ended up staying there for quite a bit. Even um, Marcy, uh, Rose's friend, she was like, where y'all at? Like, are y'all lost? Is everything okay? Like, really checking. And she knew, like, Rose was down. Like, that was the reason they were going. She was really trying to get Rose out of the house and stuff. And she was like, I'm fine. You know, just something came up and all this stuff. She's like, I'll explain later. Rose made it up in her mind, you know, like I said, she she thought she wasn't going to get to be a mom. But after meeting Josie, she said, I'm not leaving without this little baby. 
and um with Josie yeah she had been there since she was little since she was born she said I'm not leaving without this baby and she went to go talk with Max and all this stuff and they took little Josie home and she, you know they had all the stuff there for Christy they said we have two we have two kids one is up in heaven one's here but we have two kids and Josie has a sister she has a big sister but she's not here with us but that was another thing she didn't want to replace Christy I felt like she was replacing Christy she said not replacing Christy and that was another thing she was like she really wanted a little girl so that's them that's the toddler stuff that was here because we just all had they all came over for Graceland's birthday actually I was with Ray when she invited him to her birthday party and um but all the kids were over they invited him and all this stuff so um yeah and now I know Reed and Summer had a little baby I cannot believe that there's so many girls in this family girls are just crazy um Zachary maybe kind of wants some kids of his own but I mean he also was like he has five and he's a really good grand you know he he well not replacing pace pace is a good grandfather the one the best but um zach is a good like step and he's really good with liberty and all that too as well <laughs> as well i mean but um um uh, liberty and amy have always been super duper close um and, see, um, they are always been super duper close, um, pretty close. And, um, they're also, they think a lot alike. They all, they both love animals. And that's kind of been the thing that when she grows up, Amy wants to run a vet clinic. And hopefully by the time that, um, Liberty ages up, eight, grows up, she can really help out at the clinic with Amy and just really help her take over and they can do that together. So, um, let's see. I don't think there's too much of what's going on. Yeah, they have, I haven't really put them in clubs. Probably need to put her in like a sports club. Like I said, she's just, she eats, uh, Cece here eats, breathes, lives sports she just loves basketball she loves jogging she wants to be fit she wants to eat right oh she's also going through the picky eater phase but yeah um and and she's going through the distance so she wants to be away from her family she doesn't want to eat weird stuff they're both not good on emotional control but she's cheerful she's good she's a top-notch toddler she is always welcome in a quick learner and uh, she loves the outdoors she's active uh, this is Cece she's a top-notch toddler always high metabolism and going through the picky eater uh oh what's wrong with you need to see what's wrong with your puppers or oh, maybe you can here hold on can you see what's wrong with him is he just going to go lay down Oh, he needs a walk. Okay. Because, yeah, they it's early. Well, oh, wait, here. Are you sleepy? No, wait, here. This is your thing. Oh, this is your baby, so go for a jog with um, Axel. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna jump over and let y'all see them. Oh my goodness, here is little Ashley. Oh my, oh, oh, come take care of your baby, Brock. Bottle feet. Also, here is Scarlet. She is Liberty's little girl. She was a toddler last time I seen her. Cause this is her room. I had set it up. And uh she has another one. She has a son named Melvin. So 
this fan they have been going so I want to get a picture with um, him and his daughter and then I'll go to the other families Okay, yeah, 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 you keep doing that. I want to, I want to get, um, a picture. Oh, and he's still wanting to follow his DJ career and all this stuff. But also, I forgot to mention, he is a medical assistant. He's in the doctor career. And he got dance machine, self-assured, he's a music lover, top-notch child, always welcome, compassionate, and a quick learner. He is, he loves to dance, and he loves DJ, but he's also very smart. Oh my goodness, my baby, my only son, guys. This is my only son. Well, Graceland's only son. And he is a daddy. He's a daddy. This is Pace's first son. And, yeah. They're, so, let's see, they have, let's see, Ashley, Liberty, and Josie. They have three grandkids now. Oh my god. I can't. The cuteness. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling she's by now at least. I don't know about later, but like now she has her she ha she looks like maybe she's gonna have more um summer skin tone. But you never know. She could look more like her daddy. Or her grandma. You never know. Oh my goodness. I could always see him as a daddy. Is. Oh. I can't. Guys. I can't. I didn't know. I had no idea Summer was pregnant. They kept this secret even from me. And I literally. I just opened. Like. I haven't. Well, uh, well, I checked on them because I had to, because like I removed all my CC, some of the walls and stuff. So like I did that, but I've like played, played a lot. So yeah, okay, let's go check on everyone else before I wallow in. <sighs> yeah, so it always scares me. This one always scares me about um, marking them as unplayed and having MC commands there, but also what I love and have like normal let's plays because like there's progression and. You know, like, they, they would tell a story and all this stuff, and it just, they will let you know. But yeah, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They almost have, like, a full house, and they have all these puppers. They have Lucky. They have Molly. Enjoy them in a little dress. They have Leah. And Delilah. In a little onesie. So... Um, what the heck are you wearing, Rose? I wonder if you can you? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Rose, what are you wearing? Anything but that, baby. Ah. Okay. So, this is their house. They live on, actually, you know, if you watch um, Gracie's Clinic, they live in that same area. They live right off the beach. They can just walk into to the beach and see that they love that. See the lighthouse. They can walk to the docks to get to the lighthouse. And, um, although I don't renovate it. Oh, they only got nine bucks but um they uh they love their little house up tv they have all her pictures up look at this look when rose was a kid oh my god um there's rose and her friend um aj i called him aj I wasn't sure how to... this is Ray, I believe. Yeah, this is Ray. There's Reed. And there's a picture, I think, when they moved into Newcrest. Here is when she went camping with her dad. And there's Josiah. He was a toddler. There, when 
Ray and Reed age up to teens as her mom and her grandfather, the, her and her best friend, Ray and Cece, Ray and, I mean, Ray and Cece, Rose and Reed, those two of the birthdays. There's the first time when she, her and Max first met. Well, it's super duper close. There's Ray and Reed's party. And I know we get some of the baby. Here's some of their wedding. Look, Liberty. She's so cute. There's her and Ray. Little uh, bridesmaids. There's her. Someone photobombing. <laughs> and um, her and her aunt Adrian. Who are super duper close. Her and Reed. And yeah. Still got some more to fill up. But she also. She still loves the photography. And yeah. I got this from the gallery. But there's her room and the computer and all this stuff. And here is little Josie's room. Little kitty and all this stuff. You know, it was set up for Christy. You know, it's Josie. So, and here is the little princess herself, little Josie. And, um, they're, you know, they'll take her to see her sister. But, um, yeah. Here is her. She is just a little cutie pie. And I love her, and she just fell in love with her from the moment she was like, it was just, it was meant to be, you know, it's not replacing Christy, but it's giving Josie a home, it's giving a baby a home, and so, yeah, it looks like she's cooking up some breakfast or some pasta or something, so, and we need to give the dogs a bath and all that stuff, um, but why don't we go check on those, let's go check on Ray. Sorry about the planes. <laughs> and here is Miss Ray's house. Also, with Rose, why she, they were going to name the baby Christy is because um, one of Rose's favorite flowers is Chrysanthemum. I don't know. It's like this really long. I don't know. This flower. And so, and it sounds like Christy. So, um, here you can eat that. So, this is Little Liberty. Last time you seen her, she was a toddler. Now she's all grown up and I need to give her some eyelashes. But this is the little cutie. She is so cute. She's got a little Twitter Bernie necklace. And she has a dog. So like I said, she loves animals. She loves animals too. Like crazy. They have a doggy door. This is Miss Ray. She hasn't changed too, too much. She's in one of her favorite outfits. <laughs> she, um, But she has grown up quite a bit. I mean, she is a young adult, but not too much, you know. That's why I haven't really gave her a makeover, because, I mean, she's, like, in her 20. Yeah, she's, like, she's, like, in her later 20s. She does have diff different outfits, but, you know, she's still young, hip, and all that stuff. So, yeah, she, ha she has this, like, sweater. I love this sweater on her from Cats and Dogs. Um, but she has some different outfits, but... Still very much Ray, and this is Viola. This is the kitty that they got, that Ray got for, well, also Graceland helped Liberty when she was a toddler, and they have been best friends. She loves her kitty. See, she has a little bow collar and a little sweater. She loves Viola, and this is Cooper. He was just a little puppy. Now he is a big dog. A big golden retriever. And her daddy gave him to her. Because he's like, you know. I just, I don't know if he, you know. It'll just be me. I don't know if he'll get the attention. And she loves him. He imprinted on her. And so. And this little bunny is. The Why does not Rose have it? Well, when she left. Um. Uh, she was, she, uh, it was right when Liberty was born, pretty close. She was like a 